Yeah. Hey there, Rockstar. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so why I left YouTube? Ooh, oh my gosh, it's better trend. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But it's so interesting when you do uh, see videos like this, and it's like some uh, some ethereal reason, like oh, the anxiety, or like or, oh, my life changed, and I don't know where I was going. But like, I mean, shout out if that's part of your truth. But for me, it's because like. I have a career, so I'm an actor, model, and tenor, and when I first, well I've been on YouTube like, you know, there's videos of me like way back doing all kinds of nonsense, well not nonsense, but you know, just like cute quirky things, you know, and the YouTube skate back then, especially being in Britain, was just not, not my thing, and it'll never be my thing, and that that's okay, because I'm my own person with my own hobbies and interests, and my own personality, and my own goals and everything, and that's okay. And for me, I'm a person who I value being judged on myself and my own merits, my own you know, respect and politeness and my own personality and my own persona rather than being judged on how well I fit in with everyone else or, or everyone else is doing this and seeing how I stack up, like, tally up against them. I'm not about that. So even in terms of acting, I generally go for roles where I am allowed for lack of a better term, to, to bring more of myself into the role. Of course, Shakespeare will forever be iconic, as well as like um, so many other great playwrights and great actors and everything else. But at the same time, like that's been done already. Like I'm not here just to like follow someone else's path. I'm here to do me. Even up on YouTube, like every YouTuber knows there's always that topic or those videos where like, oh, okay, if ever, <laughs> if ever these checks are looking slim, then I can just lean, lean all the way this way. But for me, I'm so grateful that I never learned that. I never learned that that was like a thing which I should be doing. And in terms of my career, so many things that I do, so analog, like it's lots of rehearsals and auditions and go sees and casting calls and script reads. And you have to really be dedicated to all of that a thousand percent of the time. Otherwise, otherwise you won't even get a decent start. I will be able to live out my dreams regardless if I'm on the internet or not. And that's the exact life that I wanted to live. Like, you can tell where some people, I mean, you know, things for me is very, very revolutionary and I don't want to take that away from anybody. Like, legit, I'm queen of your own life, if I'm living my own life, I want you to live yours too. But it's just so, so funny when you hear, when you hear in the news that this website's shutting down or like, you know, these policies are changing and blase, blase, blase and like, people just like lose themselves because like, they know for a fact that they don't have anything else. They've put all their eggs into one basket, into one very finite niche skill set, which is not transferable into any other medium and when that goes they don't have anything whereas me i can say that in this moment in time my life can go literally in 10 different directions and i'll be happy in either which one <laughs> my gosh it's like going to university it's like i know this there's one person who around the same age as me um who was a chef and then like literally i mean i don't know what his story is but he but on monday he was a chef but by Wednesday he wasn't and having to figure out your entire life all over again from zero after you know going to one school after the other after the other after the other all studying the exact same subject with no variation no anything it was your passion it's your passion but at the same time like I'm so grateful that I will never ever be bored in my career never ever and I can keep YouTube and all other social media platforms that I'm on as just like a fun thing that I like to do because I have quite a bit of spare time rather than like a job rather than like a taxing thing that I do because I need to keep the lights on sort of thing you know also if you are a fellow creative person you need to know for a fact that you're being hired based on your skill set rather than based on like arbitrary numbers which may not translate or transfer into anything you know like between you and me nobody cares how many followers you have if you can take direction and turn up on time and do the job in which you are employed to do then you'll be fine <laughs> and but like we're not necessarily taught that we're taught just to you know go for numbers every single headline you can think of any movie is mainly about the, the amount of viewership or like the sales um, or the salary and not about like the actual impact those minutes on screen actually had but for me i know for a fact that i'm here for the latter and anything else is simply just extra and that's okay and anything you know outside of myself is like literally up to the universe that's fine but i have time to do things because like i actually want to do them i actually enjoy doing them and like 
it can be exactly what it is, you know? And the amount of weirdos who are not in my life anymore, who <laughs> literally base every part of my health and well-being based on, like, the eight minutes they see on screen, rather than actually picking up the phone or, like, having a conversation IRL, it's quite sad. I don't know what kind of lives other people are living, I don't have the time anymore. Not the, not, not the time, it's not really like that, but I don't have, like, the bandwidth, I don't have the room, I don't have, like, I don't have the, the, the memory of my phone to, <laughs> to keep up with all that nonsense, I don't. I was watching a YouTube channel so I know exactly who you are. No, hun, no, hun, there is so much going on. Like, the most magical moments of my life will never be seen for anybody, but those are the moments which, like, you, 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 and that's how you get to know somebody. Like, you don't get to know somebody by, like, what they say to a lens for, like, 10 minutes. Like, hello. And everything that I have in my career would not have happened had I, like, really went hard on YouTube way back when. It just wouldn't have. It wouldn't have. And even though I'm out in person, like, you know, everything else, like, I see people who, you know, did go hard in, in their, their own kind of way way back when, and... From my perspective, from my perspective anyway, they they look like they're they're running into dead ends, and it's like I'm so grateful that I'm in the position where it's like you know what I want this area of my life to go in this way, and that's fine, and that not like you know really like basing things off clout or off like drama or scandals or like those sorts of things. That's just not my style. It's never been my style. I don't know why people seem to continually invite me to participate in like drama and gossip and all that nonsense. Like, hello. I mean, I watch reality TV, but like, that's like all the way over there. <laughs> hello! Like, gosh, the kind of things that they go for is like, oh, I could never. But now I feel, but again, now I feel like my career and stuff is like on lock. Like, legit. Like, now I can, like, you know, I can breathe and do. <laughs> And do lots of fun things now. My gosh, this is like I feel like I'm exactly where I wanted to be in life. You know, it's so interesting. I so many people believe that you have like nothing going on if it's not like it's not in like you know. I don't know, girl. It, uh, this is the world that I invented, so eh, I'm just participating. I didn't create the rules now. I was playing the game. I didn't make the rules, so that's fine. So yeah, TLDR, why I left YouTube. Um, like no, no, like esoteric if there are reason per se. It was just like. You know, when I was in London with my Gwen, I was like, okay, either I could like sit in my bedroom and like talk to a camera um, all day every day, or I can go out in the real world and like get a resume and you know understand how the world works and like it's restaurants and like party and all this sort of things and like yeah, I feel like now these things are like a lot, especially career. That's a big thing for me, legit. My like, gosh, the amount of like hustling I was doing and still doing today. Oh, my gosh, I'm so too, and it's like. Gosh, it never ends. It, it, it never, well, it does end eventually, but like, gosh, just, just, okay. That's a whole other video for a whole, whole other day. And because my career is so deep, enthralling, interesting, and never ending, it just makes more sense, it made more sense at a time to even way back then to like, you know, dedicate myself to that fully rather than. Rather than defaulting, you know, and just making YouTube videos and like thinking that was enough because like it just in my life it isn't. <laughs> but now those things are on luck, now I can be like dedicate some time to do other things that have nothing to do with my career whatsoever. So yeah, that's why. But if you want a deep dive into like my resume or like my portfolio or anything like that, then you let me know and I can make a video about it. But other than that, like I wanna just keep things fun and fresh and there are so many things that I'm excited to make videos about like wow <laughs> I cannot wait I cannot wait can you wait let me know in the comments below and subscribe that's it for me so until next time bye and by the way seeing your dreams unfold in real time is the most amazing feeling in the world and the Oscar goes to you Roman Ruben, good day. You got him? Put me through to Ruben in the newsroom. Aha, well done, superstar. May it please you to subscribe your name? Thanks for watching.